Why are you in such a good mood? Remember how I said that Rebecca had done me a solid back in 1914? Swore she hadn't told Klaus that I was taking the diamond back. I was actually being a bit facetious. with my brother. A word of advice. A witch as lovely as you has no business dating Cobb. Oh, it's not really a date. You can do better. As you know, when the Michelsons arrived in Louisiana, we brought with us the tradition of holiday bonfire season. Mm -hmm. Now we invite you chosen few to join us in our family's own tradition of writing wishes for each other and burning them for luck. The holidays are a time for celebrating family and friends. It is especially gratifying in times when treachery runs deep to know you have someone you can trust. A toast. To you, my sister. To Rebecca. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize for the disturbance. But what's a Michelson family party without a little squabble? <laughs> I've owed her one for a century. Today I got to repay that favor. Oh, don't worry, love. I'm not gonna hurt my own sister. I didn't exactly prep Angela Barker, either. I prepped someone else. What? Who? Oh, it's a bit of a story. You see, Klaus didn't just punish me for stealing the diamond. He also punished my witch friends, locking them in the Dowager Folian Cottage. Oh, over the decades, it's become quite a catch-all for an assortment of odd birds of the witchy variety. I'm sure Rebecca will be very comfortable in a prison created by Klaus. You didn't. No, I did. And besides, with Rebecca missing, Klaus will be occupied so we can finish what we started. You swear she's safe? Perfectly. Since this is the best day I've had in the past two centuries, I've made a wish for you. Close your eyes. <laughs> 